Okay, I finally finished it, although we used it without some of the controls in here. Um, we now have it like ultra safe and double checked with temperature. So I wrote down here for a puppy, the first four days of life, what the temperature should be, five from 10. And then by day 30, the fourth week, uh, how to reduce it to what temperature. So these extra holes are in case um, I need to move or want to move this, or I thought maybe I would want to put a light bulb in, but I don't think I really need it. I mean, you can kind of see what's going on in there. Um, and I don't think I need any venting. I, I put this fan in and it seems to be working really well with this controller. It, like you plug the heat in here. So that is my heater. It's a chicken light heater or a chicken coop heater. Um, I, I got this one that, that is supposed to shut off at 90 degrees in there. And I use these pool noodles just to kind of make it more like a nest. But I also have a smaller box that fits in here if I don't really want the puppies to be too spread out. And this right here is the temperature gauge for the controller out here. So you plug your heat. This is made like specifically for this kind of activity. Your heat is plugged in here. Your cooling is plugged in here. And then you program this side so that if it reaches the maximum of 90 degrees or tries to go above that, it'll kick on the fan to reduce it. The fan also brings in fresh air. Um, otherwise, I might put in, I really don't want to go to an oxygen concentrator, but I might put something in like you put in a fish tank to put some air in there. Um, and then this is the minimum degree uh, temperature that I want is 85. So that's why you can hear the fan or the heater is working right now to try to bring it up to 85 degrees. And I just turned this on, so it's not really having any difficulty reaching that level. So we have both this heat controller managing the temperature as well as this should shut off when it gets to 90. So in theory, uh, the fan really shouldn't be coming on if this is working. Um, but the fan here, as you can see, it's mounted, so it should bring in some cool air. And it'll just move to some degree because the air is, generally speaking, just circulating a little. Um, but that wasn't kicked on, that was just free moving wheel. And so I'm not too worried about these because puppies won't be, they'll be blind while they're in here. They won't be um, moving around at that height level but I still may cut them off and probably knowing my concern about safety, put something soft over the ends of it. And there we have it. This is a heating pad in the bottom. And let's see, it's gonna show you the wiring for it comes out a hole in the bottom there, which is the same hole that I'm using to put the heat uh, regulator in, the thermostat for the regulator here. Um, but it just may be a little bit overkill to be using a uh, heating pad as well on the bottom of the, the puppies as well as a uh, heat lamp on the top. So I'll probably just put some towels in and make it a soft bedding. And likewise, um, depending on how stable these seem to be, the pool noodles or how much room I need, I can take out a few or take them all out and just use some towels to make a nest. But I like these because they were less likely to unfold and possibly suffocate a baby. At the bottom there, they're kind of rounded. So there's a easy kind of crevice that if their nose got stuck into it, they could still breathe. So there we have it. Um, this is the finished incubator and uh, seems to be working really well.